This example, C4 from the midterm review, is about differentials. The edge of a cube is measured to be 30 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeters. What is the approximate relative error in the volume of the cube? So to find the relative error, first we need the absolute error, and we also need an equation for the volume of cube. So the volume of cube is S cubed. The differential then, or error in the volume, is going to be 3s squared ds. Now our given information here, 30 is s, plus or minus 0 0.1 is ds. So the error in volume is 3 times 30 squared multiplied by 0 0.1, which gives us 270 cubic centimeters as the error in the volume. That's the absolute error, or approximate absolute error. We want the approximate relative error. To do that, we need to compare the error to the actual volume. So the actual volume, we calculate by simply plugging 30 into the volume equation and finding that the volume is 27,000 cubic centimeters. Then the relative error is equal to the absolute error divided by the volume. So 270 over 27,000, which gives you 0 0.01, or a 1% relative error. The next example D1 is in the integration applications and it's about electricity. So the electrical current is given by this equation and we're asked to find how much charge, Q, passes a point in the circuit between these two times. Since we're looking at the amount of charge passing a point between two points or in an interval of time, then Q is going to be the definite integral between 0 0.2 and 0 0.85 of our current. So 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2 T. And we know that because hopefully we remember that Q is equal to the integral of I dt. So integrating I between the two points tells us how much current passes the point in that frame of time, or that interval of time. So integrating, we get 0 0.5t minus 0 0.2t squared over 2 evaluated from 0 0.2 to 0 0.2. 8.5 and if we substitute that in we end up with approximately 0 0.26 millicoulombs because the question is given in milliamps.